What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. Nope, no rhyme or reason. Probably not gonna change. Fan question, fan request, fan inquiry. Any tips for their first night shift? The knock. Not otherwise categorized. N-O-C, is that right? N-O-C? The knock shift. Overnight, midnight, vampires, graveyard shift. All I know is you're working while everyone else is sleeping. I want to first start off by saying I have all the respect in the world for everyone that works the knock shift on a regular basis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can never do it. Second thing is I feel bad and my heart goes out to all the flip floppers. If you don't know what a flip flopper is, you're going to find out soon enough. Flip flop. You go from days to nights to days to nights, afternoon to days to nights, so on and so forth. Flip flop. Some of us have called it the flip flop because you flip from days to nights. I'd like to think of it as we call it the flip flop because that's all you do in bed is you flip and flop because you don't sleep. The minute you have your sleep under control, you turn it on its head because you're working when you should have been sleeping or you're sleeping when you should have been working. Absolutely natural, you know? I remember my first night shift. I remember it because it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. The funny thing about it, when I first became a nurse, when someone said night shift, I thought they meant the evening shift. When I learned that I was going to be working the night shift, I broke out into a cold sweat. Night shift 7P to 7A versus the evening shift 3P to 11P. Yeah, I, 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 I was a little misinformed there, but... Mm. Live and learn, I guess. Five things I thought I'd talk about for your very first night shift. I'm pretty sure that you've done your homework and you've talked to other nurses about the night shift, talked about the tips and tricks, not gonna go over all that stuff again. That's been done ad nauseum. Five things that I think are pretty important. The, the first ever shift of working overnight. The first time you have to work as a nurse while everyone else is sleeping, including the patients. Number one, be prepared to feel completely out of place like a stranger in a strange land because there's gonna to come a point when you realize I should be sleeping right now yet I have all of these things to do something's wrong this is not natural it's okay we've all been there at least I'm telling you ahead of time about the weirdness some of us had to learn it the hard way number two if you're documenting please remember that it's 2100 not 9 a.m. and it's 0300 not 1,500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you can ask how many nurses have actually had to make that mistake. Now, if you're on the computerized charting, most likely it probably doesn't affect you. But for us old school nurses or for anyone that's still using the, the good old pen and paper, then you want to make sure you're documenting the correct time of the day, not the time of your shift. Or not the time that you think you should be working. I used to document it as 9 a.m. when it was really 9 p.m., which is really 2100. I love military time. Number three, be prepared for the wall. Be prepared for the 3 a.m. wall. You could call it the 2 a.m., 3 a.m., or 4 a.m. wall, but you're going to hit the proverbial wall between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. And no matter what you do, you can't stop it. It's kind of like a train. Roll right on through. Just be ready for it and do your best to soften the blow. You're going to get hit whether you like it or not. You can caffeinate all you want. You can sugarcoat it all you want. Sugarcoat it. Get it. Eat sugar. Get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Sugarcoat it all you want. You're still going to get walloped. Do you fall flat on your ass or maybe you just crumble to your knees? Take your pick. Number four, have you ever been drunk? Because if you have, then you're gonna know what it feels like to work nights. It's just that simple. If you're not normally a night person, you're not used to working nights, your body's gonna feel like it's drunk, yet you didn't have the pleasure of consuming any kind of alcoholic beverage. It's like a free drunk. It's one of the many gifts of nursing. Here you go. You're welcome. And number five, you should try and keep moving at all costs. Don't stop. If you stop, make sure someone is next to you when you stop. If you stop for an extended amount of time and you're not 
babysitting your brain, it's gonna go to sleep and you won't even know it. If you think I'm lying, just ask. Stay awake. This is kind of like that Freddy Krueger movie, you know, A Nightmare on Elm Street. You need to stay awake at all costs. Maybe you can go take a little nappity nap on your lunch break. You don't want to fall asleep while you're in the middle of charting. It's just not pretty. And then you have to go back and erase all of the all of the typing that your forehead made. Even you do the funky chicken, you're going to have to go through and edit all that stuff that your forehead typed. So Try and stay awake. Five tips for the first night shift of your life. What do you think? Love to hear your thoughts on this one. Calling out all my night shifters. What do you suggest on the first shift of the knock? What should they do? I know we could talk about caffeine and sugar. We could talk about snackity snacks. We could talk about drinking a proper amount of water. We're talking about survival skills here. What kind of survival skills do you have? Always want to hear your comments. You know your comments are my caffeine. Thumbs up would be appreciated. Share this with somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first.